my door handle decided to come off. A piece in here just snapped. And then the whole handle, it was in here, doesn't even close anymore, just came out. So we're going to replace it. So looking at this printout, see the door handle. I'm pretty sure here is Z, is the part I need. But you can't just get that part, it comes as an entire assembly. And here it is, here's the old handle broken. Here's the new assembly. And pretty sure this piece in here is the part that failed, it is plastic. But it comes as a whole thing. It's like two screws holding on. A screw up here. A screw over here. I've never done this before, but it can't be very hard. So we gotta start with taking this interior door panel off. There's three screws. There's one down in here. There's one behind that little cover. And then your controls here, this whole piece just kind of pops out. And then you unplug this and there's a screw back here. And there's also, when you take this off, this whole panel, don't rip it off because you have to unplug this light. I don't have a helper, so I'm going to have to record all this myself. So it'll just be in stages of what I do. Open this to get some more air in here. It's pretty hot. Yep, so here's this piece off. It just clips in. You see this clip on the top? It goes in there and snaps in. And when you peel it off or pry it off, you can use your hands. Just kind of start at the bottom. Start working it out. It feels like you're probably going to break it. But uh, you won't. Then you just unhook the two pins, the plugs, there's two, the big one, the small one, and then the other screw is right in there. Alright, when you get all the screws out, there's going to be some clips still holding this on. They make a tool for that, but if you don't have one, just use a little flathead screwdriver and use part of the package that the new handle came in. All you got to do, just to save your paint some, let's wrap that around like that. And you can just slide this up gently and you can start prying it out. Use both hands and you won't break anything. When you get all this out, you also want to pop out this top tweeter assembly here. It just snaps on. And you can unhook it and set this aside. I normally just let it hang. That doesn't hurt anything. And then you can just pull this whole door off. You just lift up the bottom and it comes off the top. Reach back. Unhook this light and just set this panel aside. And when you take this panel off, there's going to be a little plug here on the top that you're going to have to undo. Undo the light. Like I said, there's the plug. And you have access to the door. So here's the interior with the piece taken off. And this is the newest car. This is a 2004. This is the newest car I've ever taken the door apart on. Normally I take apart 80s cars. And there's just a piece of plastic that you can rip off and throw away. But this has a very hard plastic here. It's not flexible at all. And there's a bunch of screws. These are 10 millimeter. We will have to take off the window regulator. Three screws. And unhook it. And set that aside. And then we'll just have to unplug this. And take out that screw. Uh, the speaker looks like it can stay. It's mounted directly to this plastic liner. So this is, looks like a little driver or something for the speaker. That looks like it can stay. And after we take all these screws off, uh, we should be able to just take this panel out and set it to the side and leave all this hooked up. Uh, we'll see. And then we should have access right here to the other side of the door handle. So here we have the door panel detached. We could take the whole thing off. That means undoing this and taking like this whole harness out. And I don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to let it dangle here. And here's where the door handle is. Not very good lighting. This is the part that broke off from where the door handle is. And on the new one, it is this piece right here my thumb is hitting that broke. Now there's not really a whole lot of room in here. <laughs> uh, 
I think there's a plug here I can take out to get to that screw over there easier. And then behind this sound ending here, there's another screw back there. Um, yeah, so not impossible. A little more difficult. I'm going to start, see if we can get this plug off. I'll do that now. Yep, got it off. See, I thrashed it pretty good. I just used some pliers, yanked it out. Not to worry about it. I don't think I'm going to put this piece back anyway. Just throw that over there. Then we have a good, where is it? Now we just get an extension. We'll get right in there to that one. And then we have this one. I don't know, this foam. Might be able to just use a wrench or I might just break a piece of this foam off. Not sure yet, we'll see. All right, put the screw back here. I just went through this hole with the really long extension. Then I used the pliers to grab the screw so it wouldn't come out. And on this one here, I just used a wrench. I was able to use a tiny, a tiny wrench. And I got through there, undid it. And then the piece just fell out the other side, which is good. And then I took those two screws and put them in the screw holes on the new handle, just so I don't lose them, because I am bad about doing that. Next step is to undo this rod. To undo that rod right there. And then all we have to do, I say all we have to do, we'll have to make sure that the lock doesn't fall anywhere because that has to go with the one behind. Let me focus on that one. Already has the rod attached to it. Don't have to worry about that. We just have to make sure we can screw it in. And then this rod right here will go here on the handle. It's already got a plastic piece for it. And then we should just be able to screw it all back together. But focus. All right, so we should we just be able to put this in, screw it all back together, put that rod on it. But having this piece right here really is just a pain in the ass. If this went back just a little bit more, it'd be so much easier. But it's all right. We'll get it done. And here's that other piece. I just went ahead and popped it off. I actually originally thought that this was part of the door itself until I got the new assembly and saw that it was a separate piece. So again, it's this little plastic bracket here on either side. That's what failed. And sent this little spring flying off too. So make sure you go in there. I had to go in the bottom of the door and fish that spring out. If you don't do that, you're just going to hear it bouncing around while you're driving, making little clanging noises. Nobody wants that, so get all your old parts out. And then we're ready to put this new one back in. All right, and we got the new handle on. The linkage is hooked back up. Both screws are in. We'll look at it from the outside. All right. Yeah, it feels good. Now let's start putting the door and tear back together. I'm going to start put this up, and I'll probably put this bolt up here, up, and then connect the bottom of this. It goes right here with one of these, and then I'll start doing the rest of it. I decided to go a different way. I did put this bottom piece on right here so that the window doesn't fall down, but the regulator is going to be a bitch to put back on. So I left the top open so I can get my hand down here. That way I can put the regulator back on with the gear inside. And then we'll put the rest of it together. Alright, got it back on. Plugged it in. Now i got a couple of screws on each side holding together. This would have been a lot easier if you had a buddy or something to help. But you can't do it by yourself. It's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, let's put the rest of this back together. Alright, we got this inner skin back on. Now everything's bolted up. Plug this back in. And now it's time to put on the interior panel. All it does, you start by dropping the top of it down in this little groove here, and then push in the clips. So they go here, here, here. You just gently push the door in, and be good to go. I did not put this little grommet back in there. Got it right here. 
Um, it might go back in. I don't know. My. Nah. Okay. It snapped back in just fine. Alright, I'll, I'll put it back in then. Alright, now the outer panel. Oh yeah, before you hang it, remember to plug this back in at the top. And to plug your light back in. And then you can hang it up here. Alright, once you got your interior door handle back on, snapped in. Just remember that screw back there. Screw back here. And your screw behind this trim. It's got a little flap covering it. And pop your tweeter back in place. Connect your control panel. And then this just slides. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. I think I'm gonna need both hands for that. Yep, needed two hands. Plug it in, make sure your window and stuff works. Door closes nicely. Oh yeah. Done. If you're not recording, it won't take too long. I'm recorded, showing it. it. Took me a little while. That's all there is to it. And this piece is only $70 for that whole assembly. And I think it's because every generation Mazda like this used the same door handle. You can see on this car, it's an 08. It's the exact same style, same door handle. So I think that's why it's so cheap. Yeah, there you go. RX-8 door handle, done. Take it easy, guys.